Hello everyone, Ms. Justine here with the Lindenhurst Memorial Library. Welcome to another Take and Make. Today's Take and Make is Sleepy Sheep. Before I begin and show you how to make your sleepy sheep, I want to read your story about a sheep. And this story is called Sheep Go to Sleep. It's written by Nancy Shaw, illustrated by Margot Apple, and published by Huffman Milfin Hardcourt Publishing. And I want to thank the publisher today for allowing us to read their story during our story time. Winking fireflies light the way as sheep stroll home to hit the hay. Five sheep settle in their shed using straw to make their bed. Screeches, rustling, noisy crickets. Sheep hear hoots from nearby thickets. Oh, what do they hear? Is that an owl? They hear the owl. Nighttime noises scare the sheep. Really, who could go to sleep? Sheep ba, sheep sigh. A trusty collie wanders by. What would make the sheep feel snug? The collie gives the sheep a hug. T uh, the tired sheep begins to snore. One asleep. How many more? How many sheep do we have? You want to count with me? One, two, three, four. Four sheep left. One sheep asks to have a drink. The collie gets it from the sink. Another sheep begins to snore. Two asleep. How many more? How many more do we have? Ready? One, two, three. Three sheep still awake. Can you just stop? Uh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. A lullaby should calm the flock. Sheep tap rhythm, hum and rock. Another sheep begins to snore. Three sheep. How many more? How many more are up, guys? One, two. Two sheep. Good job. One sheep wants a teddy bear. The collie brings his own to share. Another sheep begins to snore. Four asleep. How many more? Who else is up? One, just one lonely sheep. The last one wants a cozy quilt to snuggle in the bed she built. The collie gives a wary grin. He fetches one and tucks her in. All the sheep have closed their eyes. They're drowsy and dream until sunrise. They're sleeping. But where is the dog who looks after the sheep? Where's the dog? Where did he go? Where did that silly dog go? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Oh, that dog was so tired after helping all the sheep fall asleep. That was a fun story, wasn't it? So for our next stop, I'm gonna show you how to make your own sleepy sheep. So come along and let's join. Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, for uh, this segment of our Take and Make, I figured it might be a little easier if you guys can just see um, me doing the craft itself. Um, this way, instead of actually just seeing me, it might be a better perspective. Um, if you like the Take and Makes this way, let me know, and I'll make all my Take and Makes this way. I just thought for this one, it might be a little bit easier to see what's going on. So what you should have gotten in your kits when you pick them up from the library is you should have gotten a blue piece of paper two black rectangulars, those are going to be the legs of your sheep, two googly eyes, and you should have also gotten uh, a black head that's going to be for your <laughs> head of your sheep, some white paint, 
And what you're going to need to use from home is you're going to need either um, a glue stick, Elmer's glue tape, or a glue dot. Any of those would be just fine. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to open up your container of white paint. And I do advise that you do it on a surface um, where it's okay to make a mess just in case or put down uh, some type of tablecloth that you're okay with. Um, just in case it, might, it shouldn't get messy, but you never know. So you're going to stick your finger in the paint, okay, and you're going to dab it on the blue piece of paper. And you're just going to keep dabbing it around. This is going to form the body of your sheet. So you see I only did one dab into the white, and then I just keep going around. When you feel like you want a little bit more, you can go back in for more white and just keep dabbing it. You're gonna do this until you feel like you got a nice body for your sheep, almost like a circle, but it doesn't have to be a complete perfect circle. Okay, so you're gonna keep doing this until you get it as big as you want, and then you're gonna set it off to dry, okay? For purposes for this program, <laughs> I already have one that's already dry. Um, you can see that it is actually um, a little bigger than the one I did before. So this is my, uh, this is how big I want my sheep. So the next thing is you're going to take the head of your sheep and you're going to put it wherever you want on the top. I'm going to stick mine like right about there. Ah, I'm going to take out my glue stick and I'm going to put some glue on my sheep's head. I'm Please apply a generous amount all over your sheep. You're gonna lay them down. Gonna lay them more towards the top. There we go. Pat them down a little bit. Okay, and I do recommend um, letting your white paint dry before you actually do this. So the next step is I'm gonna decide where I want my legs. So I'm gonna put one leg here, so. I'm just going to have to roll up my glue stick just a little bit. I think I'm running low on glue. <laughs> so I'm just going to glue, and then I'm going to plop it down here. I'm going to take my other leg and do the same thing. I'm going to press on some glue on my leg and put my other leg here. Okay, there are my legs. Then I'm going to put my eyes on. So I'm going to, wherever I decide, Maybe I should do it this way. Put on one eye there. Then I'm going to take my other eye. Put a little bit of glue. Right there. There you go. I have my sleepy sheep. I'm going to turn mine around so you guys can see it a little better. Okay, if you want, like I said, you could have made your body a little bigger, um, depending on the size of your head and your legs that you got, um, the eyes. And if you want, you're more than welcome to take some crayons at home and draw around your sheep once it's done, make a little scene. And there you go. Here is your sleepy sheep. Enjoy, everybody. See everybody soon. Bye.